Once your conditioning regimen is completed, it is day zero and time for your cell infusion. Depending on what type of treatment you're receiving, your cells may be fresh or frozen. Frozen cells are preserved and stored in the cell processing lab until you're ready for them. These cells will be thawed just before infusion. The cells will be given to you in an IV bag similar to blood or chemo administration. Your case manager will review with you the possible side effects that can happen during the cell infusion. You'll receive medicine before the infusion to prevent a reaction and you will be monitored closely. Your nurse will remain in the room with you throughout the entire infusion. Cell infusion day can be exhausting both physically and emotionally, so we recommend you plan to relax and rest the remainder of the day. Your recovery will begin while you're still inpatient. Most patients can plan to remain in the hospital for approximately two weeks after cell infusion, although your condition may require a longer stay. When I received my stem cells, I was pretty excited. I was also a little bit nervous, but my whole family was there. And then the pastor from my church was there and it just felt like a birthday party kind of because it was birthday balloons and cake and all that kind of stuff. So it was pretty fun. I was excited. The emotional part of the transplant day was uneventful for me because my daughter from Lincoln was supposed to come to be beside me during the transplant and her little boy got sick got temperature, so she couldn't come. So we FaceTimed for the entire transplant uh, process. I've been told that that was the most relaxed transplant that they had witnessed for a long time. But I was just laughing and joking and looking at my daughter and looking at my grandson and knowing that they were the reason, part of the reason I was doing this transplant, was to spend more time with my family and my grandkids. The day of transplant was exciting and yet scary. Exciting because they made such a big deal about the fact that it was my second birthday. Um, and the thought of it being the new, the new you, um, the changes that you would go through physically as well as the opportunity to continue to live. This was a second time of, of being born again, so to speak, um, was exciting an experience. Getting the transplant was actually anticlimactic. I had gotten some blood transfusions prior to that. It was pretty much the same thing. Um, um, we were able to, to look at the bag of blood and actually see the stem cells which blew my mind. I, I didn't know you could do that. Emotionally, through the whole, throughout the whole thing, um, was, uh, like I said, anticipation. Once I got the, the, the transplant, it uh, took about a half hour. Um, it was, uh, okay, what do we do next? I was excited. I had asked my care manager, how many bags of stem cells do you think there will be? And she told me, well, I've seen some transplants that have one and some that have 20 some. She said, normally it's four or five. So that was going around in my mind. How long is it going to take? I was anxious to see how many bags were in that little container and there was one. <laughs> so it didn't take very long. And my sister and one of my daughters spent the night with me that night and we were all excited, a little bit nervous. And then after everybody had left our room except us, we kind of looked at each other and said, wow, <laughs> that, that was kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> there really wasn't that much to it. 